by bones like this this one is a one bone one full chicken bone just the bones and uh, this you need this uh, breast breast chicken meat okay one so we're just going to boil this okay now i'm going to add star anise nothing else star anise and clove At this point, please don't add anything else and one big onion, water, That's all friend. Let it boil for half an hour. Don't add salt yet. Don't add um, anything else. Uh, later after uh, the chicken bone boil for about half an hour. Then I will let you know. This is definitely a very easy recipe. These are the things that you need. I bought this salad because in Penang famous uh, Hutton Lane Koitya soup. If you have tried Penang Hutton Lane Koitya soup, they will use this salad. It, it is nice and we need this uh, salad. Red chilli, one full garlic, fish ball, white pepper, light soya sauce and this uh, pisic oil. Uh, sesame oil it's a must so these are the very simple these are the few ingredients you need uh, okay that's all oh yeah and definitely you need kwetiao the soup kwetiao or any kwetiao also should be okay <laughs> Now the chicken uh, is boiling, the soup is getting ready. Okay, at this time I'm going to prepare the garlic and in another separate pot, boil plain hot water. So I'm going to fry this garlic with this sesame oil. You can see now the garlic already a golden brown. So keep it aside. Okay, now I'm going to take out this chicken breast into another separate, and also on the onions. I just wanna plain clear soup. So friends already separate now. Now is the time to flavor the chicken soup. If you have chicken stock, it's also okay. You can use, but I always use this homemade chicken stock. This is really good because you want the flavor. If uh, just uh, this much of bone won't be enough for you to get the flavor. So I'm going to add this about. Okay, I'm going to use about I think about one tablespoon should be enough salt 
so friends after tasting i think i need to add some more so i think i can some salt and you can just taste and see if it's so the salt is enough then it's okay so i'm going to add some more in so it will be about 3 tablespoon friends Now add the fish ball into this clear soup and let it boil. So the soup with the kuitiao uh, fish ball is ready. And now we're going to take some chicken from this breast chicken breast here. So friends, cut some chicken meat. So you have to be careful. Be very hot. <laughs> so you can shred the meat like this. And keep a sight. Before we going to assemble the kuitiao soup, prepare with the item shallot, salad, the shredded chicken, garlic fried with um, sesame oil. Okay, here not enough, so I'm going to add some more oil here. Let it soak in the oil. Okay. And then the light soya sauce, the red chili, and you need white pepper. Okay, now I show how to assemble. Friends, you can see this is the soup kuitiao. It's small in texture, I mean in size, compared to the fried kuitiao. So in Penang, we are lucky. We have choice of getting kuitiao for soup. It's different for fried kuitiao. It's different. So friends, this is the strainer that we use to to cook the kuitiao. If you don't have it, you can you can use this. I usually make a kuitiao soup very frequent, so I I bought this. Okay. Put the chicken. Put the garlic first. Garlic and the oil. Shallots. Salad. White pepper. Pepper. White pepper. Shallots. Oops. I just learned something. Sorry, friend. This is not shallot leaf. This is scallion. You can add the red chili. And more pepper. Where's the soup? Spoon there. The green spoon. Give up. soup is ready and friends you can see it's actually really pork free I didn't use any pork meat here it's all from chicken bone enjoy friends this is the homemade kuitiao soup enjoy making it in the house so please share like subscribe Penang family thank you until I see you all again in another segment